Hello once again to the Half-Life walkthrough. Uh, yeah, well, if you saw last, last time's video, uh, yeah, it was the Resonance Cascade that just happened, and the alien is still over there. Uh, I guess he's not gonna... Oh, let's get out of here really quick before he hits me. Oh, kind of like that. Anyway, this scientist is dead. I want to get out of here before he starts hitting me. Okay, and, um, get here, get through here when it's open, kind of like that, or else you'll take damage. And we'll pick up this health kit here. And after a while, this security guard will be revived, but I'm just gonna leave him here for now. And be careful with this thing, because it will fall down, so just hop over that. You can, there's nothing back here, so just keep moving through here. You can open this up, and we'll hit the elevator button. Okay then. Anyway, what are these? Well, these are called head crabs. He's glitching out. Uh, come on, don't glitch out on me. Thank you. Uh, they're called head crabs because they look like crabs, and we'll get to the head thing later. But for now, we'll just move on here. That's a lot of blood. He doesn't look completely just, you know, dried of blood, so... He must have had a bit extra blood there. Anyway, you need to lead the scientist over to the door. Okay, now if we go through here, what I like to do is run in and then go into this corner. Because that will happen. The electricity will shoot out, and then break open the door now, and it'll hit through that one, that one, and then that one. So when it gets to the middle one, then I just like to run through. Anyway, when we get up here, there's going to be an open chamber, alright, and note the water on the floor, because that can make you slip, but when we walk in here, just run, because a head crab will spawn in, and you... He's in midair. Okay, then. Uh, I guess he's a magical head crab. Let's get him to jump. Okay, now let's get out of here. Now there's lasers. Just duck under this first one. It's pretty easy. It'll blow that up, but make sure not to get hit, because you don't want that, because it will instantly kill you. Anyway, then run under this one when it's its highest point right there, and I find this amusing. It just breaks the security guard in half and sprays blood everywhere. Anyway, this is the crowbar. Pick it up. Crowbar is a very nice weapon to have. Now I'll get back to this door a little bit later, but for now I think I want to go back and kill that head crab and maybe that other alien that we saw. By the way, the other alien is called a Vortigaunt, and they shoot, yeah, I guess they shoot magic or something at you. Who knows? Ugh, oh, well, anyway, time you run through here, again, it's gonna go to that one, and then the next one, and now we'll run through. I think if you get the angle just right, you can kill this one. Okay, I'm not gonna kill him then. Anyway, so, yeah, you can go through here. We're gonna go all the way back down to kill the Vortigaunt just because I want to. But the easiest way to kill him is not with the crowbar because that can end very badly. I don't think that you can lead the security guard through this doorway. Maybe you can. No, you can't. So to kill, if you're gonna kill the Vortigaunt, you probably should kill the security guard here. So just hit him right away, and you'll pick up the pistol a lot earlier than you're supposed to, and then shoot him from over here at a safe distance. And there we go. Let's inspect the body. He's in midair. That's happening quite a bit. Anyway, 
you can see his face, he's got actually many eyes, but there's just one that matters. And you see this green restraint collar and wrist straps? Well, we'll get to those a little bit later on. Not in this game, necessarily, but when we get to some of the other games. The scientist doesn't like it that I killed the security guard, he's kinda running around like a zombie. Okay, not anymore, he had his arms out though. Uh, scientist. Sorry, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm leaving now. Great quote. Anyway, so we'll just keep moving here. No, I will kill this head crab. Just because, of, oh my goodness. And now we'll run through. And we killed this head crab, so no need to worry. Duck under the first laser, and I'm gonna hop this second one. Oh, I don't need to hop it. Okay then. And now what you want to do here is you just break through the glass. It takes two hits. And we'll keep moving here. In case of fire, do not use elevator. Well, it's not a fire. It's a resonance cascade. So let's try. It. Shit. I guess they just meant disasters in general. So you bust through the glass here, and now if you go down here, we can see all the carnage we created. Ah uh, yes, that's quite a bit of blood. Anyway, um, then there's also an armor battery right over here, and the two scientist skulls. Kind of gross. We'll pick it up. And head back up. Blah, 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 blah. And then climb up this ladder, which you could have taken down in the first place. Anyway. They're wearing science team uniforms? My goodness, they are wearing science team uniforms. Anyway, um, this is what a head crab does. It latches onto the person's head and then with its teeth, it has some teeth in the base, and it will lock on to the person's central nervous system, controlling their body and mutating them, mostly in the fingers, as you can see. The chest cavity breaks open, and I believe that's where they eat from. And I'll just destroy the body here. Yeah. Oh, and the person is still alive until you kill the head crab. Anyway. We want to lead the security guard through here. There's another dead security guard. That's not good. We'll just break him. That sounded kind of terrible. I'm sorry. Anyway, keep going here. I love destroying the bodies. So much blood. And anyway, when you walk through here, the security guard should shoot them. He's normally not that close. You might want to go up and help him by hitting the crowbar at the zombies. He shot me. That'll look nice in my trophy. Asshole. Anyway, this head crab's going to work on this scientist, so we'll just stop him before he can do that the security guard to follow us more and if we go back here this is still cooking probably pretty gross by now anyway um, you can flip the switches to get some soda if you want and then uh, did I leave him yeah I left him here okay and then you can go through here and the Guthrie locker is now open and in here you can grab some pistol bullets so I can reload my gun now. And if we go back into the Freeman locker, there's two armor batteries stacked on top of each other. So, yeah. Anyway, there's still the health kit here, so you can... I thought I told you to stay behind. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. And the scientists going to the toilet are not there anymore. I guess they made a run for it, or got sucked down the toilet. One or the other. And then there's a dead scientist right in the middle of the floor here. We'll lead the security guard back out through here. All the way. Did he get stuck? There. Sometimes they get stuck and you need to kind of lure them back. Anyway, we can't go through here. It's blocked off, so we need to go this way for now. Gotta make sure he's still following me. This sound is hurting my ears. Let's turn it off. Anyway, 
see there's a head crab in there. If you can get the guard to the right position, he can see it and shoot at it. Where's the Oh, there he is. Can you see it? Oh, thank you very much, security guard. You saved me possibly some pain for later on. And also, you can go and bash this open. It'll open this. You can go through here, and over here you can pick up some more pistol ammo. So we've got pretty good supply right now. At least for this early on. Scientist, what are you doing all the way out there? Come back. No, stay back. Gordon! Ah! Oh my goodness. My mistake. I should have left him there. Anyway, we'll need to leave the security guard here, because apparently he can't crawl through this chute. And as you approach here, be careful of this, because it will fall down, and there is another head crab back there. So let's see if I can... Oh, there we... Oh, goodness. I took a bit of damage. Anyway, there is a health station in here, so don't worry too much about all that. There's a lot of health in the earlier parts. And then anyway, jump onto here and then here and then crouch through and we're on the other side of the big broken thing and be careful when you approach here because it will break open I said it will break open and there's two head crabs inside one head crab? I thought there was two okay anyway and something sadly that we missed here you can see that there's a head crab crushed by the thing there and a scientist with a head crab anyway anyway but there's the head crab that this scientist was dodging and then he pushed the cabinet over onto it and it died and he was celebrating and while he was celebrating another head crab jumped onto his head and there he is anyway you can hop in here and you can like stand up in the vent but it will glitch you most of the time so yeah and if we go through here and if you remember in the anomalous materials episode the, I mean, not episode, wait, yeah, episode, chapter, episode that I made, anyway. And, yeah, it's that scientist in the chair getting mutated by a head crab, so we'll just put him out of his misery here. And if you don't want this strobe effect, you can hop up on the table and destroy the computer. The math problem is still unsolved. That's truly disappointing. Anyway, this, the lights are sadly not working anymore because the scientist isn't here to turn them back on. Anyway, you keep advancing through here. Sector B coolant facilities. Hey, security guard. Uh-oh. Oh, you're dead now. Darn. He even shot this zombie for us and gave us some ammunition. Let's honor him by surviving and make sure that he lives on in our memory. Anyway, Go through here, crouch through, and on your left, flip the switch. Oh, and as we go through here, make sure to step back, and you can see there's a new enemy. It is what is known as a hound eye. Let's see if... Oh. It's a better idea to kill them at a range. Oh. Ow. Uh... You need some help? Okay, uh... He's glitching, actually. He was supposed to just say hello, then get sucked up into the vent, and then sprayed the giblets everywhere. What are you doing here? I don't remember you ever being here. Oh, we saved him from the hound eyes. I've never seen that before. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just get him to follow us for now. Because he might... No, wait, he won't be important. But, so, yeah, let's stay. make him stay here. There's the G-Man. He's watching us. See if we can activate him walking away. There we go. Anyway. You can go up here to kill some hound dog. Truly sad. They look like dogs with blue stripes on their back and one really big eye and three legs. Anyway, yeah, I think that they look kind of cool. Anyway, so yeah, we'll keep moving here. You can hop into here to grab some health if you need it. 
and this door you cannot open from either side. So you can also go up here and open this and make sure that that head crab jumps out at you and then break his body apart. But first of all, we're going to go this way. But be careful when you go through here. Because of Vortigaunt, yes, we remember them from earlier on. You can run up and hit him a few times with your crowbar, but then he will start um, using his claws to scratch you, so I like to hit him a few times, then step back and shoot him the rest. Anyway, we get two clips of ammo here, so pick those up. And if we see through here, oh goodness, there is a zombie there. Now, it's probably a better idea to just shoot him off from here. Because later on we will be coming out through there or another place over there, and we don't want him to hit us while we're going up. Uh, and yep, we got a head crab there, so we'll just kill him. And we saw there's a scientist in here. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Okay, you can wait for your colleagues if you want. You can also run behind this dumpster and pick up some health if you oh, want. Yeah. Oh dear. Is there a head crab in there with you? I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, so we'll go back through here. And be careful when you go up this ladder because... And I like to shoot back there to blow some stuff up. That head crab normally will not see you. Anyway, so we saw the G-Man up here, so he must be here, right? Where is he? That's not him. Interesting. And so, anyway, we can't get through here for now. What we need to do is go back this way. And go the other way, and there's a scientist. Yes, let's go. Get him to follow you to the door that we couldn't open before and he will open it by using the eye scanner. I never did either. Yeah. You stay here. Anyway, you can grab a lot of pistol ammo. There's a health kit, so grab that if you need it. And grenades. Grenades are a pretty good weapon to have. I don't find them very useful in this beginning part, but they will turn very, very, very useful later on in the game. Anyway, so yeah, we'll keep going here. For this next part, what I like to do is just shoot the head crab down there. Because, yeah, he's a head crab down here. You can also grab, you can run down and crowbar him if you want. So, next thing to do, run over here. There's nothing down here, just, like, just tunnels. Anyway, flip this switch, or turn the wheel, whatever, and you can either go up through here, but you'll still need to open the vent covering, or go up here where we saw the zombie earlier. Fast crowbar swings there, Gordon. Anyway, so yeah, we come up through here, and we're on the other side. There's some water running into this one. Nice attention to detail, I must say. Anyway, We'll go up through here. There's this. There's the security guard's body and clips of ammo next to him. So we'll grab those and then flip the switch and hop onto here. Now, what I do is I go to this very corner here and head crabs will start sliding down. Kind of like that. Sometimes they'll jump at you, sometimes they won't. But either way, you can get the jump on them, kind of. Kind of like that. That's where they don't. Oh man, there's one in there. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, just stay right here and you should be alright. I don't think that those ones can hit you. Oh my goodness, they can. Uh, let's just hope that they don't jump at me anymore. Okay, yeah, they're gonna jump at me. Anyway, run up here right away when the lift gets this low because you can grab some health and it's also a very nice place to be for shooting off these head crabs and they're not infinite there's not infinite head crabs i think that this is all of them but then i just pistol 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 shoot them off from here i'm really stuttering today i'm sorry anyway i think there's just like one more uh is there any just gotta make sure there's none over here. Oh yes, there's one. 
And then, when you're up here, um, to not take damage, you want to hop down onto these barrels. And a hound eye will spawn, and you can just hit this, and when he charges up a sonic blast, he will fall through here, or you can just do that, I guess. So I'll just hit him to death with my crowbar. I'm sorry, hound eye. You just want to play. Anyway, you can bust open these crates to grab some ammo. Kind of like that. And also, um, you go over here, you'll need to jump that one, because if you fall into this water, there is a crusher, and it will crush you. You can go over here and grab some health if you need it, and we'll just keep going here. Authorized personnel only? Well, I think when it boils down to what the research facility is looking at, like, right now, I think we're authorized to do just about anything. Be careful when you approach here, step onto the, um, thing, and then get off, because a new enemy will spawn in and break it. And we'll see more of them later on, they're called bull squids. And if you remember when we teleported into the alien world there for a second, we saw two of them. Anyway, so we can run and hop up onto these pipes, and these ones, and here, and here. Now, most of the time I will just make the jump over there, because I like to be epic. But, I'm gonna take the intended route and route, 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 and the safer route. Now, don't break open this, because you can, you can from here, but don't at first. You'll want to go this way, because you'll fall down and take damage. You can hit down here, and you can open this to see where you would have been. Anyway, bust open these boxes to get some suit batteries. And if we go over here, there, that's the bull squid. And you can see him, he's going to go kill these head crabs for us. The reason he's doing this is because bull squids are very territorial creatures. But be careful, because right when he's done killing the head crabs, he'll kill you. Okay, so we'll hit him kind of like that. And now what you want to do is hop onto one of these... Either the boxes or the barrels, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do the barrels, because they're a little bit closer and easier to get to than the barrels. I mean, boxes, god damn. Anyway, we, I don't think that there's anything in here, but just to double check, I'm gonna break them open. Also, it's fun breaking open the boxes. There's a health machine over there to grab any health that you've lost, and these are also very interesting creatures known as barnacles. If you want to kill them, just step into the tongue things that they have here and crowbar them. And spewing out guts. Basically what they do is they cling to the ceilings with the tongues sticking out and wait for prey to go in under them and it'll suck them up kind of like this and eat them. And barnacles can really hurt you so make sure not to get trapped. Also don't let them suck you up like really high and then drop you because you'll take a lot of damage. Now if you go this way there's nothing but more barnacles and a light so it can kind of confuse you because it looks just like the tongue. We'll just kill this guy and keep moving. Don't go into those crushers because yeah, the name implies it will crush you. We'll just keep going this way for now. Up this ladder and there's another health machine. So many health machines in this chapter. Anyway, oh my gosh. I just fell off of that little ledge. Make sure not to do that. Or do. See if I care. Anyway, bust open these crates. I am definitely sure there's nothing in them. If there is, I'm going to make a webcam video next time and eat three sheets of paper. I don't know why I thought of that, but I don't need to. Might anyway. Probably not. There's nothing this way. Which I had to learn, like, every time I played. I, would, like, walked in here, and for some reason, I thought that I could go this way. Uh, stupid fact about me. Anyway, we'll keep going through here. I love the ceiling. I mean, look at those green lights. I just, I really like it. I really like this game. It's awesome. Anyway, there's some blood splatter right there, and I can't really see any reason for there to be, because it's a pretty open room. Climb up these ladders and make sure not to fall off the ledge. You really don't want that to happen. And walk off onto that. Oh shit. Okay. And then jump onto each box. Oh god, I do not like this part at all. 
Okay, I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights whatsoever, but I'm afraid of falling off. Especially in this part, it's very easy to do that. Oh man, I hate that. I can't even walk close to the edge. I just don't like it. You can imagine what it's like for me playing Assassin's Creed, you know what I mean? Anyway, we can open this door and walk through here, and there is a ladder. Go up it, go through this door, and congratulations. We have made it to the other side of the broken bridge. Over the canal, I guess it's a canal, why not? Anyway, there's an elevator here. Just press the button, we'll go in. And the chapter is just about done, I believe. Yep, office complex. Well, I really do like that chapter, Unforeseen Consequences. It's a really nice chapter. And I will see you guys in the next episode.